I'm Alina Anteshek, and this is Consider It Mapped. Over the past several months, we've been talking about publicly funded alternatives to public school, like charters, public choice, and private schools that accept opportunity scholarship vouchers. This month, we're going to combine data on all three of these choice options to look at the trends statewide. Our map this month shows the percentage of choice schools by county with darker shades of purple indicating more options. The slider bar below allows us to view these percentages by school year. In the first year of this map, 30 counties had one or more publicly funded schools of choice. Today, 89 out of 100 counties have schools of choice. While many counties show increases over time, there's a noticeable shift statewide from 2013 to 2015 that's largely attributable to the introduction of the Opportunity Scholarship Program. The impact of the program is easier to see in the line graph below, which shows the percentage of choice schools out of all schools within a region. But how many students choose alternatives to traditional public school? The left side of the bar chart that follows shows percentages of all traditional and choice students by county for the 2015-16 school year. The percentage of choice students is sorted from high to low. Explore the bars for choice students by type. The dark gray bars on the right side of the chart tally the number of choice students, showing that many counties with a high percentage of students opting into choice actually have a small number of students. For instance, in Hyde and Avery, 30 to 40% of students participate in school choice, but this accounts for less than 1,000 students total. Forsyth is first on both sides of the chart with the highest proportion and the most students overall. Our exploration of school choice has revealed that the options are growing and changing in many counties, but that growth and change is more prevalent in some. Counties like Forsyth, Guilford, and Durham have a long history of implementing public school choice for a large number of students. So as we try to understand the impacts of expanding school choice across the state, we should look to experts in these counties and others in the field for their insight. We can also learn a lot from counties without any of the aforementioned school options or with only a few of these school options. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback and keep the conversation going. So please reach out to us on social media and at nc.org.